The women's elimination chamber match. I believe the entrances that you made me watch uh, that were lasted longer than most episodes of Ra- most episodes of Rampage. We have Nikki Ash starting the match. I know it's ASH, but I refuse to say it. Nikki Ash Bullshit. starting uh, with Liv Morgan. The only notable thing in this opening segment was uh, Liv is like on her back in the corner, and Nikki is outside sitting in the great area, whatever they call it now, and she like spins Liv. Like they're playing Twister or something into the post, and they call this unique offense. I would have called it shitty offense. You know, I stood up for Corey Graves when he won uh, Worst Announcer in the Observer Awards because uh, he's not the worst announcer. I mean, he's just objectively not. Like, you got Cole. You got Byron Saxton. (laughs) We had Matt Stryker. We had a fucking guy adding on Verk who was so bad he got fired two months later. How does he not win worse than Alistair? Yeah, that's a fair point. But anyway, the point is, as much as I defended this guy, Liv Morgan comes out, and he does a thing about how, you know, Liv Morgan's had chance after chance, and if she doesn't win tonight, I just don't think she's ever going to do it. <laughs> like, what a fucking burial, dude. Like, you know she ain't going to win tonight. Oh, you know that's not where the storyline is going. What a shitty thing to say about Liv Morgan. And, of course, she didn't win. So it's like, wow, what a great announcer you are. I mean, fuck, yeah, it does look like she's never going to get her due. But, I mean, if you watch WWE, I mean, if she resigns for another 30 years, I mean, when she's 45, she'll probably get a, a championship. I mean, I don't know. I just thought it was shitty. So they were doing very fast time intervals. I don't know if anyone... Two minutes. It used to be five minutes and yep. then two, two, two. This was just like two, 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 two. We got to get this thing done in 15 minutes. Yeah. Because we got video packages to air. So many video packages. Do drop is number three. She beat people up in a boring manner for a while. I thought she was pretty good. No. Yeah. I like this do drop. Rhea Ripley is four, uh, the fourth person in. So Nikki is scurred of Rhea. She tries to run away in a chamber match. She is yanked out the cage and falls under two people, one of whom is Dewdrop, so it was a very safe catch. And then Rhea just grabs her and pins her with Riptide. What a geek. If only I had my music right now. So what was actually even more notable to me than this is that not how easily and quickly Rhea dismissed Nikki and pinned her, but what happened next, which was nothing. No. Door open. They took her out. Everyone's standing there, and I'm screaming, fight each other. The match isn't over yet. Keep Bro, working. No, we need to get more bodies in the ring. So Bianca Belair was the last woman in. and as Wait, you, you got to talk about Alexa here. Oh, I apologize. I skipped Alexa's whole segment. My bad. Okay, uh, yeah. listen, everybody. Yeah. I know some of you don't watch Ross. So let me explain this to you. So uh, Alexa was uh, the female fiend, right? As I recall. And then her doll got destroyed. Okay. And she vanished to get mm-hmm. nasal surgery, and she was gone for months and months. So then they have a series of vignettes. Alexa is working her way back to Raw, okay? So she's in therapy with this bloke. And uh, it's like five fucking weeks of this. I already hate this. Yeah. This guy is like trying to, uh, and I quote, cure her. Because that's what you do in therapy. You cure people. So uh, first, you know, he he, uh, shows her the remnants of the doll, and she cries, everything like that. And then she gets mad and... You know, then the next week she's more calm and then he's asking her about her behavior and all this and that. So the point of all of this is how it ends is uh, the guy presents her with a new doll, a replica. Okay, And he says, I bought this replica doll and I have taken all the stuffing from the old doll and I put all of that in the new doll. Okay, you, he says, Alexa Bliss, you're cured. Okay, you're no longer a creep, but. To remain cured, you must carry this doll with you wherever you go. We clear? She must carry the doll with her wherever she goes. She must carry the doll with her wherever she goes. So after five fucking nonsensical bullshit weeks, which, by the way, on Twitter, Alexa did the old, you gotta let it play out. After five fucking weeks, she comes out, dressed as a schoolgirl, skipping to the ring. She's got a fucking swing set in her pod. Nothing has changed with this character. I guess there was no magic, but it's the same fucking character. And guess what? No doll! After all that, she can't bring a fucking doll to the ring. Maybe the king of Saudi Arabia was like, bro, we can't have dolls. Was the doll's arms or legs exposed? 
They could put the f uh, fucking outfit on the doll. Bro, they make clothes for dolls. I have kids. I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm up to my ass in doll clothes. But anyway, same bullshit gimmick. Why did you gimmick. point to your head when you were talking about your ass? Because <laughs> I mean, you know, All right. figure of speech. I see. Same fucking bullshit gimmick. She comes out. And of course, you know, same thing as before. When she actually wrestles, the people like her. They just don't want to see the fucking yep. stupid gimmick. Yep, people. So she's out here wrestling and everything like that. And uh, I mean, she was fine. But big return, she got pinned in the end. She did get to pin Dewdrop. Yes. Pin Dewdrop, Dewdrop with a sunset bomb. And yes, people did love Alexa Bliss. That is true. So then Bianca Belair is the last person in. And I'm a huge Bianca fan. And the, the last portion when she got in there is actually really, really good. She grabs Liv Morgan, and she's out in the ramp, and press slams her, and then drops one arm. So she's pressing her with one arm over her head, and it was a long one arm press before she finally dropped her. So she grabbed, I think, Liv, and uh, Rhea grabbed Alexa. I mean, how that switched, but uh, Bianca and Rhea had a suplex off, where they both go over the long delayed suplex at the same time. And then Rhea starts to show off by using one arm and flexing the other. And so Bianca messages to do squats and run in place. This part was great. That was killer. There's a bunch of stuff happening. The, the production on the show, even by WWE standards, was god-awful. Uh, we talked about the camera cuts and the zooming. But the new thing that happened is we're going to miss what's happening in the ring because we're going to show you fans instead. I don't want to watch wrestling fans. I want to watch wrestlers. I want to watch wrestling matches, not wrestling fans. So there's a bunch of stuff happening here. I couldn't tell what was going on. Uh, Alexa pinned Liv with Twisted Bliss. And then Bianca quickly pinned Rhea with the KOD. So it's down to Bianca and Alexa one-on-one. -on -one. This went very badly for Alexa as Bianca just ragdolls her for a while. She missed a 450, and that gave Alexa a chance to get a few near falls. And then Bianca just hit the KOD and won anyway. I enjoyed this match on the whole. And in the end, Bianca was undoubtedly the superior woman involved. I thought the match was all right. I do want to defend uh, WWE because I saw a lot of uh, feedback on Saturday night of uh, people that are like, oh, my God, what a boring WrestleMania. Fuck, how many times have we seen Bianca Belair? Listen, geeks, okay? When they had that SummerSlam match and Becky Lynch came back and she beat Bianca Belair in 26 seconds, all I heard was people bitching about how they fucked over Bianca Belair, Okay. So here we are. It's the Elimination Chamber. Bianca Belair wins the Elimination Chamber. She is going to WrestleMania to face Becky Lynch, where I would bet dollars to donuts. I could be wrong. It's WWE, but it only makes sense. She is going to get her revenge on Becky Lynch and win the Raw Women's title. And why are we bitching about this? Like, all you people did was complain about what happened at SummerSlam. Now they're going to pay off that story by giving Bianca her big win to end. Which, by the way, they, uh, when they talk about uh, Becky Lynch, they say that she is... Um, what the fuck do they say? It's something like she's been champion for uh, 478 days or whatever, even though she wasn't. Like, she vacated the title and went and had a baby, came back and won the title. They're, they're considering this an uninterrupted reign. Really? So they could just talk about how she's been champion for 447 days or whatever. So anyway, uh, the point of this is, Bianca's going to get her revenge. It's all people bitched about. Now they're bitching about something else. I don't want to hear it. There's plenty of stuff to bitch about. Bitching about Bianca winning this chamber and going to WrestleMania to win the title from Becky. This is not bitch worthy. Stop. He's lighter, and he worked the whole match. Yes. <laughs> Bugfly in your mouth? I missed that. Jared, can we get a replay? Was that on film? I swallowed a bug. I hope ah. it was that big one. Ah. Mm. My wife is asking what happened. And, and you explain. a bug. She's cackling. She's God. never I've never seen her so happy. <laughs> What's just... God trying to tell me when I was in the middle of that speech and a bug flew in my mouth? Talk less? I guess. <laughs> I don't... God. There's not a meaning in everything, dude. Sometimes bad things just happen for no reason. A bug food in your mouth. You think you, think you, you think it was bad? How do you think the bug feels? If I'm walking down the road and I see a giant mouth, I'm not going in it. <laughs> right? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. 
Don't miss out. Join us today.